welcome back with another video in this video i'm going to review some application which is ported from samsung one ui so let's get it started first of all let me show you the files and this is the samsung my files that means the file manager which i'm using right now and these are the application you guys can see first of all we have the samsung clock then we have samsung gallery and one UI home that means the launcher and we have music application my files and one UI calculator samsung notes and smart things and weather epic as well now i will review one by one first of all let me show you guys the samsung gallery application and this is the gallery application let me open it and this is the gallery and we have the picture section here on the left side and right side we have the album section you guys can see if you click on albums you guys will get uh, a user interface like this and if you click on three dot menu on the top right corner you guys will be able to use the camera then we have the edit option and store option and then we have create album if you want to edit and you guys can select all the albums and you guys can delete just in one click and if you click on sort just ascending and descending order you guys can follow that process and if you click on treatment right now you guys will be able to change the uh, system Just click like this you guys can share from here and of course delete from here as well and copy to album and move to album can be done from here if you open any album like this and you guys will get the UI different here you guys can select a standard view and of course and this is called a standard view and if you select split view it will be like this you guys can select any of the albums and you guys will get the photos or wallpapers whatever you have you guys will get it here just select your album like this and you guys will get everything on the right side so this is the feature of the samsung gallery application now let me show you the calculator of samsung and this is the samsung calculator and of course you guys know about that this is the user interface uh, so that's it and then we have other things like then we have samsung cloak like this let me show you that and this is samsung cloak this is the world cloak then we have here the alarm setting then we have here the stopwatch and here is the lab and start and then we have the timer and other things then let me show you the music player and this is the samsung music player you guys can see on top left corner samsung music and you guys will be able to hide folders and of course here is the feature hide folders and not now whatever you need you guys can select and we have playlist here and favorites then other things tracks albums artists and folders so here is the tracks and this is the UI while playing music and you guys can add to favorite like this and we have here the uh, volume control system and then we have here three dot menu and you guys can uh, go to settings and you guys can uh, change the play speed and sleep timer and crossfade between tracks that means the effect you guys can do that we have queue settings as well and manage tabs dark mode whatever you need you guys can do that and really thanks to the developers who actually ported all these things then we have other things like samsung notes and i did something like this but we have one problem with that port so wait for the next update uh, when you just open anything or type anything here you won't be able to see that and when you just get back you will get that words and that drawing everything you will see here and of course directly you guys can access pdf files from here if you have pdf files on your internal storage then of course you guys can access then what we have next i think we have my files so let me show you that one and this is the one ui file manager and you guys can analyze the storage like this and we have other things like large files is shown below
these are the things now we have the uh, smart things and which actually can control your home appliance appliance whatever you say uh, like uh, fan light and which is digital things actually can be controlled by it and device here is here is the life and automation system that's it so that you guys can see here the lights and other things control them or with a single tap or voice command you guys can do that you guys can just link several devices and now let me show you how you guys can uh, just use the Samsung application uh, not the application which is the launcher so first of all install the applications one by one I already did so that's why uh, then go to search setting I'm using here Android 12 L and if you can uh, if you want to use it that files and any Android devices you guys can do that no problem with that so type here if you are using a USB ROM like me then of course type do like this just type default home and default home app then you will be able to see the one UI home just select the one UI home and get back you will be able to use the Samsung launcher and this is the Samsung launcher you guys can easily use this is really cool I guess and this is the user interface and you guys will get short and home screen setting like this so we have the home screen grid option apps screen grid and apps button if you need apps button of course you guys can uh, enable that one if you enable apps button you guys will get an apps button in home screen so let me show you that and this is the apps button if you click here you will get all the application like this so this is it and this is the smoothness and which is really really cool and if you guys want to add uh, some widgets of course you guys can do that as well and just press and hold and just give it here so that's the things and you have to uh, conversation things uh, need to add so I don't want to and we have the wallpaper access system from there as well and this is the smoothness I guess which is really really part smooth than any other any other um, custom launcher really mind-blowing smoothness So hope you guys understand the video. If you guys like my work, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon. So thank you for watching.